This is amazing. Now we have Google Gemma. This is an open source model released by Google. It is outperforming Llama 2 in every single benchmark. So how good are Gemma models? Here's the LLM leaderboard. So you can see it's clearly outperforming Mistral 7 billion parameter model, Phi 2, Desi LM, and then it's very close to Llama 2 70 billion parameter model. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Google Gemma. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to install this using Google Cloud Platform Model Garden. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So there are different ways to try this model. One using Google Collab, then using Vertex AI, from Kaggle and also from Hugging Face. You have four different versions. One is Gemma 7B. Next one is Gemma 7B IT. That is the instruction fine-tuned. Next Gemma 2B. And then the fourth one is Gemma 2B instruction fine-tuned. We have the prompt format here. We can even try that model using Hugging Face chat. So go to huggingface.co slash chat. And there you can go to the settings and choose Gemma and activate the model. Now you can try the new model by going to new chat. We can ask some basic questions like write an email from bullet points. So using these bullet points, it composes an email. Now we are going to do coding tests. But before that, I need to show you how to run this using Vertex AI, that is Google Cloud Platform. Go to Google Cloud Console. There you can type Model Garden and click Model Garden. There you should be able to see Gemma. So click View Details and then you can click Deploy. This will automatically open a page where you can choose which model you want to use. Then one click Deploy, provide the model name, endpoint, the location where you want to deploy that, and then click Deploy. Now go to Model Garden again, and there you can see View My Models. So click on that button, and you should be able to see the model which you have just created. Just click on the model. To test the model, you can enter your prompt here in this format, and then click Predict then you will get a response in the right hand side. You can also integrate this with your application. Just click on the link, then you have sample request at the top. After you click that, you have detailed instruction on how to integrate this with your application, even using Python, as you can see here. Now we are going to do our coding test. So first Python, very easy task, going to return sum of two numbers. It's very less likely that this data can be trained with these models just because the solutions are locked by default. So these pages only have instruction. So I'm going to copy this instruction and using Gemma model, I'm going to ask question. Now it is generating the response. So I'm going to copy this and do the test. And it's a pass. Next easy task, find the discount. Copying it and asking it again. And we got a response here. Now copying this and testing it. Seems like there's an error. So I'm going to copy the error and pasting the error. Now got the fix, trying it here. Still a fail, so I'll give this a fail. Next, medium task, virtual DAC. So going to copy that and asking Gemma. And here is the response. Testing it here. Seems like it passed few and failed for few. So I'm going to copy the error and pasting it here. Now got a fix, going to test this and check. Still is a fail, so I'll give this a fail. Next, let's try a hard task. Find a domain name from DNS provider. I'm going to copy the instruction and asking the large language model. Got the answer now. So copying it and testing it. That is a fail. So I'm going to copy the error code and asking it to fix. Now got the answer here. Testing it again. And that is a fail. Now let's try a very hard task. Identity matrix. Copying the instruction and asking Gemma. Got an answer here. Just copying it and testing it. That is a fail. So going to try the fix again. So copying the error code, asking to fix, got the fix, testing it again. It's a fail. Going to try expert level challenge, ECG sequence, copying the instruction, then asking the large language model. Now testing it, it is a fail. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be fail again. So generally in regards to programming, this model is not doing as expected. But still, it's a good starting point. So you can fine tune this further to make it good at programming. Mostly these kind of models are generally used for general tasks, but you can fine tune based on your requirement. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. 
I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.